Hey guys, I just want to, you know, tell you, you know, you're doing a great job. I want to congratulate you for going this far. You are well on your way to being a t-shirt entrepreneur. So, you know, if you want to, before we get into this, you can kind of like, you know, take a break, you know, go get some water. If you like coffee, go get some coffee, ah, stretch your back. You know what I'm saying? Because you're doing a great job. And, you know, just setting this up, if you're not really that technical of a person, can be kind of a, you know, can be kind of frustrating. I'm, I'm, hopefully it's not frustrating when I show you how to do it, but I know that it can be kind of nerve wracking. You don't want to make a mistake. So I commend you for getting this far. Take a break and uh, we're going to flip and come right back and get into it. All right, let's go. Okay, so I hope you guys took a little break. If not, pause it, pause it, go take a break. Okay, now we're going to get into adding products. It's a relatively simple process and I'm going to walk you straight on through it. Okay, so adding products right now. All right. Now we are going to get into the fun stuff. Okay, right here, right below. You can see all this craziness right here. We are about to create some products, okay? So let's get into this. Let's get it going. Let's go back to Shopify. And let's keep going. Let's click right here or let's go all the way over here. And it automatically brings up this menu. And we're going to click right here products okay add products now there's a standard way to do this which is go right here and you click on add products the name of the product the description of the product all right and you go over here you put the vendor if it's your venue just put in your name or nothing at all uh, you can if you have t-shirts or hats or jeans you go right here and create it you know what collection that it's in uses the uh, home page or you can make wins women's you can create your own collections I'm gonna get into a lot of this later and right here is where you go to add your image but this is the great thing about doing a t-shirt store with Printful let's go to Printful now make sure that you are in one browser like we are and you're open in your store in Shopify and in the same browser Printful is open see right here two tabs open in the same browser okay and make sure that you're all logged in and let's go okay now this is let's just go back to plain old Printful all right and you go in and you want to go right over click right here under your name and you go down and you click on stores okay this is where we just were and this is where the magic happens you go right here and you go to add okay because we're adding products okay let's do that again let's go back product sync add and this is your store you can have multiple stores but this is your store add and what are you gonna do it's a whole bunch of great stuff in prints printful but we're gonna go we're gonna stick to the butter baby t-shirts now unisex men's women's whatever you wanna but we're gonna go right here with plain old t-shirts for men and we're gonna go with of course of course the awesome Bella canvas t-shirts All right, now you can drop your design here or you can choose your file. We're going to choose a file. See your stores library. You're going to go right here to upload. Now you can also upload from Google Drive, from Dropbox. We're just, I'm going to upload from my, from my computer. uploading photos now with this right here this has to deal with copyright and 
just you know a whole bunch of stuff stealing people designs uh using copyrighted material you know a whole bunch of stuff you want to do don't want to do and trust me if something's crazy they're going to come back and let you know click i understand you want to read through all this of course and you want to click i accept now you can go in and make some magic happen now this is your design now what i'm going to get is a ping file p n g and that's a file that allows you to have a clear background you don't want to use jpegs unless of course um your background is all solid or some type of photograph or something but if you want any of your ground color to show through that's going to have to be transparent so you want to use a ping file t-shirt pings now these are a whole bunch of my artworks here so we're gonna go we're gonna find one of these bad boys and we're gonna go with this okay this is haters gonna hate potatoes gonna potato open and there it is now this really was driving me crazy because it's like where's the save where's the save you don't save you choose okay click choose and the your artwork is right here and this is something that you, you you're going to want to do that artwork is white so it automatically defaults to a white t-shirt but we don't want white we want a black t-shirt so i'm going to click on the black t-shirt and i'm go back over here i'm going to click off the white because we don't want a white t-shirt okay and there's tons of colors here all right, depending on what blank you choose, it tells you what colors are available. But I just want classic black. And I'm going to click over here. And right here is where you can size. Yeah, you can size and move around. Okay, so I want to size this up. And if you want to be this small, you can do it. If you want to be on left chest, right chest, you can do it. But of course, I want mine to be center chest. And it'll be. And you see how when you do that, it goes out. That means it's out of printing range. This box right here shows the printing range and how far you can go on the shirt with your art. Okay. So I like that. That's cool. So we're going to go down. And here is where we select what sizes we want you know uh, you can say select all sizes I really don't need the really really big ones maybe a 2x and I, I really don't need the small for men and um, there we go print quality is good I would suggest you use it says on 194 dpi I would suggest maybe using uh, 150 dpi and up preferably 300 dpi okay that's your actually artwork your actual artwork and also how I was doing it was one way you can also do it like this once you bring your art in you can play with this all right he's gonna hate potatoes gonna potate so we have art file we have our color we have our sizes and we're good we're good you know and our, our quality went up and we did that proceed to mock-ups now this is where it, it is kind of interesting because how this is right here now um do you use their mock-up you know uh, if you want to use your own mock-up or your own photograph i'm going to show you how to do that but that's later on okay and right here you can see that it says jpeg or ping okay now jpeg is a smaller file and it has but it has a white background but since we have a white background on our 
sight, it doesn't make a difference. If you wanted to use a ping, see a ping has a transparent background, all right? But they're bigger files. So we're just gonna go with the JPEG. Proceed to description. Now, the great thing is that they already have a description here. And unless your thing is different, you could just go with this. All right, because we're using the Bella Canvas. Bella Canvas already gives a description and Printful always already gives a description and your fabric content and everything right here. What you do want to do is go right here and change your product title. I'm just going to write haters gonna hate tea. All right, simple as that. Okay, now if you wanted to add something here, um, whatever you know, um, best t shirt on the planet, something that silly, if you want to add it, or not, doesn't have to be silly, it could be very, very serious. Or if you want to change this description entirely, all up to you, just showing that showing you that you can add right there. And here you go, right here, you go to proceed to pricing. Okay, now guys, I want to tell you something. When you, this right here tells you the price that you're gonna pay, all right, for that t shirt, which was from Bella Canvas, okay, you have thir it's $13, and once you get into the 2XLs, it's $14.50, okay? So that's your cost. All right, this is your cost. That's the printful price. So anytime someone buys something for you, that's the base, base price that you're going to have to pay. When I went through the payment and all that stuff, this is what it's going to cost. This right here is what you can charge or should charge. All right. So is giving you, you know, a suggested retail of between, twenty, you know, $20 to $25. Now, you can make this $1,000. You can do whatever you want. I doubt very seriously people are going to buy a $1,000 t-shirt from you if you're an unknown company. But, hey, so right now, if you put it at $20, you are making $7 per shirt. Okay? This one right here, which is $14.50 to $2XL. Put it at twenty-five bucks. You're making ten fifty a shirt. You know what I mean? Now you can change this right here. You can go right here and put it in twenty-four ninety-nine. You're making eleven. You're making pretty much twelve bucks a shirt. Okay, so I'm gonna copy that and I'm put it for all of the shirts. Now right here, I'm gonna do the same thing. It's gonna go down one cent when I go from twenty-five dollars to twenty-four ninety-nine. You know, so on this shirt, on the, on, the, on the larger shirts, you make a little bit less. Or you can you can make this um, if you want to make more money, because right now it's, it's ten fifty. But you can also make it. Let's just say you make it twenty nine. Oh boy, that's a big shirt right there. Uh, twenty nine ninety nine. You make fifteen bucks, but it's up to you. I'm just gonna leave it right here at twenty four. 99 so have it all even Steven okay and go right here to pick this is very important pick your collection okay now right now the only collection you have is home page I'm gonna go over the collections later but home page puts everything right where it belongs on your home page so I'm gonna click home page just like that and submit to store and it's doing all the magic right here. Add it. See that? Add it. So we're going to go see when the same. We're going to go right here. And we're just going to click on products again. Right here, we're in the add product, but we're not really, didn't really add anything. We're going to click on products. And look at that it has already been added and now i'm going to show you something else let's go down here to online store and we're going to click right here to customize store look at our store now of course our exactly 
This bad boy is going to pop up, pop up, pop up. And well, 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 look at that. We have ourselves a t-shirt, okay? Now, in order to add your t-shirts, you just do that same process over and over again. When I come back, I'm going to show you how you can use your own image right here okay and I'm also going to show you uh, I'm going to add a few more products and I'm going to show you how you can change the spacing and put different amounts of t-shirts on your home page so on the next video have some fun practice that and I'll see you on the next video peace and blessings